So, first couple of things we're going to go over. Most important thing, if you want to be good on your feet in the neutral position, offensively or defensively, if you want to be good in this sport, you better pay attention to your head position because that's what it's all about. All right? If my head position is lower than Cody's, I'm going to get to his leg every time. It's that simple. He can be a hundred times better wrestler than me, but if my head is underneath his, I'm going to get to that leg every time. I promise. And vice versa, if his head's underneath mine, he's going to get to my leg. There's nothing I can do. Okay? That's why it's so important about your head position. All right? If you want to be good offensively, Jordan Burrow's got the best double leg in the country. Right? In the world, I mean. Not the country, in the world. Why do you think that is? Because when he changes levels, his head position is always just a little bit lower than his opponent's. That's why he's all over the guy's legs. Okay? Defensively, too. Cody can shoot through my hands. Boom. Okay? But if my head is even with his, get in my legs. Get in my legs. See, you can't. You cannot shoot through my head. But he can shoot through my hands and arms. Okay? So it's really, really important that we pay attention to our head position this whole uh, session. Alright? Now, first one we're going to go over. How many of us have had a guy that's just really strong and he comes out and apologizes and pulls you in and you can't get any space in order to take an attack? We've all had it done if you wrestle. Guy, boom. He's just, he's so strong I can't. I can't do anything from in here, okay? So we're gonna work on clearing this tie and get to our attack. He's gonna collar tie me, I collar tie back. He's squeezing me to death. All I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna reach back and peel his fingers. As soon as I get to his hand, I'm gonna do what we call a back step, a back step. Now, when I back step, okay, I'm lowering my level. Reason being, if I back step here, Look at his head position. Now he's just gonna run to my leg. Okay, again, it comes back to my head position, right? His hand is underneath mine, he's gonna get to my leg. Boom, now that I have middle finger, I back step. As I back step, I change levels, I'm pulling down. If he does not reach with this hand and grab it, guess what's gonna happen? Snap it down and go behind. It's real simple. 95% of the time, guys, Feel this hand off, they come here, they're gonna reach and grab again. I promise you. It's just human nature. Boom, so here. Feel the hand, back step, change level. Back step, change level. I'm pulling down. He's gonna reach and pose either on my shoulder, out tight again. One of those two things are gonna happen because if they don't, I'm snapping him down and going behind him. Soon as he pose, all I'm doing is posting his arm. Right here at the elbow or tricep. Thumb to the ceiling, okay? Boom, there's my shot. That's a double. We got high props. Okay, peel off, boom, pull down. I got high props. Okay? Some guys like that cross kick. Peel off, back step, boom. Cross kicks there. I have options, okay? But the thing is, is I'm getting the setup right where I choose which leg attack I'm going to. All right, you think you got that? All right, one, two, three, right down. Hustle, guys. Hustle. I want to be out here with my elbow. Because all he's got to do is lift his elbow, he's got an E4. Boom. Okay, or even a single. All right? So as soon as I drape over this, he's got me collar tied in here tight. I'm pulling down. Now, we're gonna stay with the back step, okay? I'm telling you, if you watch high level wrestling at the world and Olympic level, the Iranians and Russians, man, they got the best back step in the business, okay? That's probably why they're the two best countries in wrestling, all right? Because technically, they're really, really superior than most of us in America. We just outwork, okay? So, this one, 
When I drape over, I elbow pitch down. I'm gonna back step, but pay attention to this detail right here. This is the most important thing. If I stay on this guy's neck, on his collar tie, he knows how to wrestle. He's not gonna let me pull him down. I'm not breaking his position there. Look, I'm not breaking his position. All I have to do is slide my hand from his neck to the crown of his head. From his neck to the crown of his head and watch his head. Give me the same pressure. Watch, I'm pulling down here, pulling down. Look, I'm not moving his head, am I? I'm gonna slide my hand to the crown of the head. Give me his head. Has nothing to do with this. Has nothing to do with that. Okay? So now, when I back step and change levels, I'm, I'm sliding my hand to the crown of his head. What do you think his reaction is gonna be? He wants to come back up. This hand slide. There's another post. Boom. Okay? This is really effective, guys. I use this all the time. All right? Guys, get in here and clamp. Elbow drape, I pinch down, elbows in. It's a back step. When I back step, I'm changing levels. When I snap, my hand's coming off this neck to the crown of the head. Boom, right there. That's all I need is that arm's extended now. I got enough space. Boom. Boom. Right. Real simple. Okay? All right. Nice That's the senior level. Mainly the senior level. The Olympic and world level. Okay? You're going to see guys get their hands and then climb the arms to get to their tiles. Okay? Anybody watch the Olympics or world, world level wrestling? Jordan Burroughs and those guys? That level of wrestling? You see a lot of this? A lot of hand fighting like this, you know? All right? There's a reason why they do that, because they are so good and technically sound. If I even remotely reach and get out of position like that, he's gonna be all over my legs. So you watch those guys, they're usually in here climbing wrists and then getting to their tie -ups. okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna swab tie them here. I'm a right leg lead. So I want to inside tie this. If I can walk in and get to that inside tie like that, obviously I'm going to do that. But sometimes it's hard. Okay? So what we're going to do is I'm going to come out. I'm not going to cross reach because he'll pass my elbow and be all over my leg. So I'm here. I'm never going to reach across. We're both right leg leads. Okay? My left hand is going to attack his right wrist. I'm doing two things here. I'm going to work the arm to get to my tie-up, but two, I'm taking away all his offense right there. I got his attack in. There's no way, I shouldn't say there's no way. It should not happen. Another man your size should never, ever, 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 ever take you down with one arm. Cody better not be able to take me down with one arm. Go. Now from here, look, 
I just push it out. He'll grab. Now I'm in my inside tight where I really want to be. Okay, that's all we're gonna do for right now, and then we're gonna put some leg attacks together. It's called a swap tie. Doug was as good as anybody I've ever seen. Because once he attacked your hand, you weren't gonna score on him. You're not gonna take a guy down with one hand. You should be able to. Okay, so again, do I reach across? Never. Go so here. Baseball grip. I'm gonna sidestep. My head's gonna slide from forehead to forehead. To a zero hole, bottom hand comes to the air, let's push it out. Now I'm in my tie. And then I'm gonna show some different attacks from here. Alright? Walk through it a couple of times where you get this down. It's a good way to get it down. The reason I like this one so much, especially at y'all's level, if you can learn to do this, because you're gonna need it at the college level, and if you decide to wrestle at the senior level, you're definitely gonna need it. But it forces good habits. Because I see this all the time at the high school level. Guys come out, reaching all the time. And you're always reaching up in here. Okay, this, this will make you full position back. Boom, right there. And I'm moving my feet and getting him moving. All right, one, out. two, three. He's a left leg lead, okay? And I'm a right leg lead. Which arm do I really want to have my inside tied to? I still want that side, right? Yeah. But it's kind of hard because you're like, man, I don't know what to reach for. I'm still going to attack that side because my inside time on the right leg lead should be with my left arm. I mean, if I get double inside, that's great. But anybody that's going to be a good wrestler is not going to allow that, okay? But if he's a left leg lead, nothing changes, guys. I'm right here. Boom. Okay? I see some of you thinking too much. Do I reach across? Or do I? He's a left leg lead. Do I do this? You know, then my foot work. I have to change to his. My high crotches. Okay? Don't change anything. It doesn't matter what he's doing. I'm going to get to my tile. I don't pay attention to what he does. I don't. I, I'm aware if I know who he is. I'm aware of what he does, but I'm not worried about what he's going to do. I'm going to wrestle my match. So I'm going to get to my tie-ups and get to my positions. Okay? So we're here. That's my left leg lead. Boom. There. Now it doesn't matter. I got to my tie-up. Okay? All right, let's go back out. One, two, three. All right. Up. Say that guy comes inside. He gets his inside tie. And I'm outside on the elbow here. But I'm not inside here. So we both have the same tie up. We call it a 50-50 tie. All right? Now, with this one, I'm, well, the first one we're going to go over for a few minutes is a single leg, head inside single. I'm going to set this guy, and I'm going to get to this side because I'm going to always single leg this outside tie. Boom. Not that I have to. It's just more effective. Okay? And it's, and it feels a lot smoother and fluent as opposed to trying to drop from your inside tie to that single on that side. All right, so what I'd like to do here is I'm going to sidestep and I'm going to pull this tricep. Same with our backstep. Anytime I sidestep or backstep, what am I doing with it? Changing Say it out loud. Changing levels. Absolutely. Good, good job. Okay, so sidestep. And I'm going to pull this tricep and I'm changing levels. Look at that. Side step, pull. We're here, we're we'll wrestling, under hustle. Side step, change levels, pull. That's all I'm doing. Now watch, when I'm pulling this arm, it's like I'm taking my pinky to my shoulder. Okay? What that does is takes its inside tie right off. Where it can't block me out. Okay? Right here. He's got an inside tie. Don't let me pull this off. See that? And right there. I'm just taking my pinky like this to my own shoulder. That takes that hand off my arm and it can't block it. Okay? And I'll pass that forearm. That's a huge detail. Pinky to the shoulder. Takes that forearm off of you where it can't block it out. Okay, so I'm here. Now, look guys, I don't try to pull this leg to my chest. 
I'm taking my body on every single shot. Every single shot you do in wrestling, you should always take your chest or body to that leg. I see this all the time where you guys, and I'm guilty of it if I get the back shot, all my Kyle and dad are guilty of it too. I try to pull that leg to my body, and he sprawls out, what's going to happen most of the time? You're going to end up extended right there. And then you're in an awful position, and it's a dog bite. Okay? So remember that. You're taking your chest to his leg every single time. Right? Well, we got a 50-50 here, gentlemen. Side step, I'm pulling, pull right there. Look at my head position. My ear is right in his chest. It is up. I'm in good position here. Strong, though. Strong. Strong. Okay? My head goes down. I haven't changed anything besides my head position. My head is here like I see a lot. Sprawl. That's what's going to happen to you every time. Okay? My head position is up. Where are my hips? In. I'm pretty strong here. Sprawl. Go hard. Okay? Pretty strong here. Watch what, watch what my hips do when my head goes down just a little bit. This is how important your head position is. Again, like we started out the session, we talked about head position. Sprawl. Watch, my head's down, where's my hips? They're out. My head's up, watch my hips. Head's down, it's out. Head's up, it's are in. Okay? All right, you think you got that? Remember, when I pull this 50-50, this over tie, I mean, uh, this outside tie, I'm, take, I'm trying to take my pinky to my shoulder. Again, well, I'm going to show you why the importance of it is. If I just try to pull Cody, look, that hand doesn't come off the tricep. I go and shoot him, what's blocking me besides his head? His own forearm. Okay, so I got to get by that. How I get by that and get that hand off my, the hook, the hand off my tricep, is I gotta pull that pinky to my shoulder like this. Watch. All right, he's in tight on this grabbing arm. I'm just gonna pull. Did that hand come off there? No, okay? When I take this pinky to my shoulder, stay on there, Mark. I'm gonna take this pinky to my shoulder. All right, ready, go. Okay, moving, go. No. I'm not pulling like this. I'm literally trying to take this pinky to my shoulder like that. I'm trying to touch my own shoulder. All right, right there. That brings that that cross right out. That, right. I got the fake cord. I got to sell this duck on this side on my inside pass. And when I duck with this, I'm stepping with my back leg. Yeah. Okay, here, all right, even though we're cross ducking, so he's got to be a good partner, Cody's got to be a good partner. When I step to go to duck this, he's going to pull that leg back, right there, because if he doesn't, what's going to happen? I duck him and finish and take him down, right? All right, so he's going to be a good partner. Two steps in there, so it's the back leg, step, boom. He's a good partner, he steps that back. This one right here, the first one I want you doing, just where you get to understand it. This right leg is gonna step, come underneath, my head is up, I'm looking over the far shoulder. Now here, guys, pay attention to this. I don't ever let go of this tricep right now. Then I'm gonna back this leg. We'll, we'll, fit, we'll worry about the finish here in a second. All right, so again, we're in 50-50 here, my back leg, Go to that duck. I don't pull back out here. I just bring my head up underneath this chin and head, and I duck here, right there. Nate Carr was really, really good. You guys probably don't know who he is, but you should do some history on him. Look him up on YouTube. Let me proud medalist, three-time NCAA Division One national champ. Okay. Back leg to the step. Go here. My head is not coming out. Coming underneath his chin and beating his head position, his back leg is going to step in. Boom, right there. 
Right, my head is up, I'm looking over the far shoulder. I keep this arm, and I'm gonna attack the leg. We'll finish it here in a second. All right, so I just want one, two, and stop. All right, and then we'll come back in and finish. One, two, three, come here. Oh, my head is If I can, I wanna keep this arm and pull down. At the same time, his free hand's gonna attack his legs, and I'm gonna drive. Boom. A lot of times I can get back points. Sometimes I won't. Okay? But none of this will work if I don't sell this. If he doesn't pull the leg back, guess what? Oh, I just stuck I'm going to finish that one. Okay? So he's going to either honor it or he's getting taken down. All right? That's how hard you got to go. Your first thought should be I'm ducking this side. All right? Boom, there it is. From here, again, I'm not pulling out. All right, I'm coming right underneath. I'm stepping with this leg. All right, and then boom. Look, I have got to sell looking over this shoulder. Okay, and I'm pulling down on this. All right, look, I got all this weight on this far leg here. Just because of my head, drive, attack that hamstring, and then boom. You'll get back points a lot of times on that, okay? Now, for some reason, I don't keep this far off. I lose it, I just drive it up. Oh, it's real simple. If I miss it, if I miss it, it's no risk. He can't score on me any chance, okay? You're gonna get in this 50-50 tie line. Boom, hit, boom. If I miss this arm and where it pops out, I just drop my left one, run double. Boom, you finish. Okay? All right, so let's try to keep the arm on a few, and he pulls the arm out and you just run double and finish. All right? All right, one, two, three.